hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel and today i'm going to be showing you how to repair backlight issue on this iphone 6s a young uh, boy technician came to me and told me this is my phone and i'm using it and all of a sudden the light went off and he tried replacing the new screen but it's still the same it's blank so guys i would like to go and uh, show you step by step on how i was able to repair this phone so the first thing first is that i would like to check the problem if the problem he complained is what the phone is having do you understand guys so the way he said it is it looks like a back backlight problem I'm trying to power on the phone to see but there is no even light right now there is no power the phone is no power and let's open it up let's open the phone up and see what is happening inside okay and he's a technician as i said so uh, expect this phone to be in this condition you are looking at it right now look at the home button is black the screen is white he told me he just got this screen anyway so oh that battery is out let me plug it back in right there and let's try again and uh, power the phone on let's see if it's going to power on and the phone is still not showing any sign at least if i can see apple logo in the background but i can't see anything so what i'm going to do is uh i'm going to try to put a charger maybe the battery is low okay let's try and see the power bank is on and the light from the power bank is telling me the charging ic uh the tigris and uh trista is working properly so if you don't know those are the two components that controls charging in iphone so uh, that means it's, it's working fine so what i'm going to do now guys is i'm going to get another iphone 6s um pcb actually i'm trying to do a physical inspection first to see if there's any damage on that uh, lcd line so this is another iphone 6s this phone does not have a battery but i'm very sure the board is working properly so let me clip the um the lcd and put the battery from that board into this uh, new uh, phone just to test that i want to test this uh the screen and the battery if the battery is okay and uh if this screen is okay so i can put this screen on so the screen is is showing properly and the battery that means there is power in the battery okay so um it is always important as well to get a spare phone in your shop so that to help you in troubleshooting anything that can help you with easy troubleshooting i think is better for you to get it so i'm transplanting the the screen to this uh to the whole pcb and as you can see there is apple logo if you look properly there is apple logo showing and there is no display uh display light so that means this phone has a backlight issue probably the reason i'm not seeing it at first was because that screen is a, it's a refurbished screen thereabout it's not the original screen so going to my schematic diagram this is the board view and look at the left side there those are the uh those are the um, lines that are responsible for backlight uh on iphone 6s okay so guys pay attention and make sure you watch this video to the end so that you don't miss anything all right guys so because you are working on that lcd part we would like to start from that lcd side where the clip is let's start reading from that side okay all right as you can see this is the uh, section for the screen backlight all right so we have three text points right there this one i'm touching let me get uh, a tweezer so i can point it very well okay we have the first one the first line tracing the line that is uh pp pplcm b help means backlight and anode that's pplcm backlight anode that's the first pin from my right side on the screen and the second one is the pink line okay and that is pplcm bl cathode one that's cathode one cat one means cathode one and the third line lcm uh, backlight cathode two so this test point we are going to be 
taken already and this first one goes to the lcd connector the second pin this uh, pink line goes straight to the first pin of the lcd connector okay that's how you'll be tracing it okay and the third one goes to the third pin of the lcd connector that yellow line okay so it is important to know all this all right so it is very important for you to know how to use your schematic tool to trace the lines for hardware and those lines go straight to this ic so that means this ic is the light ic okay and it's got some components on the side like the capacitor diode and uh, the other components right there so this test point is what you are going to be uh, reading with our multimeter that's the first thing we are going to be reading with our multimeter and the test point is hiding is hiding under um this black thing okay so we are going to be reading reading that test point because that test point is easily accessible okay i'm going to be reading taking reading on that test point so first let me remove the sticker or um, what is this on the test points okay it's an insulator they use it to close up those test points to avoid short circuiting all right so now let's take a closer look at those three test points okay the first one is the anode remember on this cathode one cathode two right there so we are going to take reading of those test points all right guys so what you are going to do now is to get our multimeter if you don't know how to use a multimeter please go to my youtube channel and watch how to use a multimeter putting the multimeter on diode mode or continuity mode we are going to put our red probe on ground and the black probe to take reading of those test points the first one which is the anode all right it's not reading at all i'm still going to show you in a closer uh in a closer shot the second one which is cathode one is reading properly and the cathode two taking reading of the cathode two right now and it's giving 0 0.6 voltage drop right there that's a very very good reading so let me bring it closer to you guys so that you can see but the multimeter is going to be blurry but just take a look at the multimeter in the background all right all right so that is the anode pin the first one it's not reading at all as you can see there is no reading the second one is reading 0 0.6 voltage drop the next one also 0 0.6 voltage drop right there so um let's go back to our schematic tool and trace the line to where um these test points are so the first one the anode is the one that we are going to trace because it's not giving us any reading so we are going to trace it down like this like so right to this component right here this is a capacitor and it's coming to the head of the capacitor right here and from the head of capacitor it goes straight to that power ic all right it goes straight to that power IC. so what we are what we need to do now i'm going to show you what we are going to do next so because those ic and the capacitors and the line goes through this uh shield over there that shield over there so we are going to remove the shield we are going to cut the shield a little bit and i'm done the shield is uh open right now i didn't remove the whole shield because i just want to work on this area okay just want to work on this area so i just cut that side with my cutter so you can be careful when you are walking around that side all right so going back to the schematic tool all right going back to the schematic tool all right so uh remember is this line that is not giving us any reading and it's attached to the second pin of the so the connector and goes right to this capacitor to the diode to this uh component right there and to the capacitor but i'm going to be taking reading on this capacitor because it's, it is easily accessible okay other components are very tiny so this capacitor is is big and it, there is a connection on that capacitor so i'm going to take my reading on diode mode again okay all right the red probe on ground and the black probe on the capacitor to see if the ic is connecting with that capacitor and it's giving us 0 0.5 voltage drop that's a very good sign i'm very happy to see this reading all right that means i'm not going to change that uh light ic okay with this reading it means i'm not going to change the light ic all right i'm going to tell you what we are going to do right now let's take it a closer shot you see 0 0.53 voltage drop okay so that's a good news that means 
there is an open circuit as you can see a line continued from that test point right to the top of the capacitor but inside there is a there is a there is a there is an open circuit that means there is a the line has broken so all we need to do is to make a jumper from that capacitor to the test point which i'm going to show you very soon okay so making a jumper from the capacitor to the test point, and i'm done making the jumper and i'm reading with my multimeter to see if what i have jumper is actually having a continuity okay let me show you the jumper so i make a jumper on this positive leg of that capacitor right to the test point that wasn't connecting all right and this is my jumper wire right here okay so if you also make a jumper like this when you are done make sure you pack the wire properly with the uv light and uv glue okay i'm taking another measurement red probe on ground to that test point and the test point is reading properly i'm just trying to show you what i read while i was on the microscope so there is a good connection right now so we need to uh test the backlight i mean test the screen if it's working or not okay let's go and voila we have light <laughs> what an amazing job guys that's a very brilliant job and we have light and the phone is working properly guys make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and i'm going to see you in my next video bye